Hey everyone, it was a Davos summit this week. That means that the great and good of the world stayed at home and watched the scumbags of the world turn up in Switzerland to talk to one another. There were the usual elected officials like Theresa May, President Trump or Emmanuel Macron. There were also lots of unelected folk there too, like Jean-Claude Juncker or George Soros, not to mention John McDonough who stayed at a hotel so expensive that he made Emily Thornberry look like a cava socialist. At the conference itself, there were lots of dubiously, ominously titled discussions like, quote, shaping the agile governance of technology, unquote, which should really have been retitled, quote, let's clamp down on free speech, unquote. On the plus side, all that doublespeak probably gave Philip Hammond lots of ideas about how to express his ever ambiguous position on Brexit. Honestly, I've seen a shooting gallery at a fun fair that was more straight than he is. President Trump, of course, was there. He decided to use the summit to push his message of America first, which refers, of course, to his economic strategy, as well as the answer to the question, where did Tony Blair go to reduce his tax bill? America first. Anyway, to sum up, millions of dollars were spent, thousands of tons of carbon were spewed out, if that's the sort of thing that bothers you. And I guess that Europe must now be running dangerously low on canopies, but not much else has changed apart from the waistline of a few corporate executives and the bottom line of some local wine merchants. I'm sure a good time was had by all, although a quick search on Google Images will very quickly tell you that the best place to have been partying this year so far was still probably Ed Balls dancing at Mar-a-Lago. Seriously, go look that up. That's a man that until three years ago had serious ambitions to be in charge of Britain's nuclear arsenal. Anyway, see you next week if you like these quick subscribe.